guys, what's going on and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be testing out some magnetic lashes. Now, I have been searching for these extensively for the last one, one and a half years and I finally found one off of Amazon. Now this is the brand Kalilis and this is how it looks like which comes with five pairs of different lashes and two iron infused lash glue. So the magnets are stuck on the lash strip and it has a lash applicator as well. Now this particular one is in the style CY05. So I have like a love-hate relationship when it comes to false lashes because if you see any of my early videos, I'm always wearing false lashes. That's because I love the way how false lashes kind of completes the makeup look. It takes it to the next level in my opinion. And uh, however, I hate the process of applying the lashes because I hate applying that horrible glue which always smells terrible and the waiting time of it, it needs to get exactly perfectly tacky and God forbid it does not stick properly, sometimes it will start poking the hell out of your eyelids and it feels like Satan himself is poking your eyelids like I'm not even kidding and sometimes it juts out from the inner portion or the outer portion oh and do not start with me on the cleaning process that is horrible job because I love cleaning my makeup brushes or sponges is it so satisfying it's easy it's simple this one you have to pick and peel the lash glue which has been soaked it's it's just a horrible process overall. Now, I really, really hope that these magnetic lashes actually do work because it will literally solve all of these problems that I just listed right now. So, before we can get into the application and the wear test and everything else, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so notify whenever I upload. And now, let's jump right in the video. Now, like I mentioned before, this is from Amazon and you do get five different style of lashes with two lash glue and a lash applicator as well. Now, this brand is cruelty free and vegan as well, which is amazing. And at the back of the packaging, you do have the instructions, which seems to be extremely simple. And uh, yeah, this is priced at 729 rupees, which I feel is pretty good and decent because you get five lashes for 729 because lashes are quite expensive. So without any further ado, let's try these out. Now, out of the five, I feel this is the most dramatic. It's really lengthy as well. And this is nice and wispy. And this one, again, is very thick and dramatic. Wherein this one is the most least and very simple. So I'm going to try the topmost one because I feel that's like not too dramatic, nor is it too simple as well. Now, this is how the lash applicator looks like, which I'm not going to use it because in general, I never ever use any lash applicator. I just use my fingers. It's much more convenient. Uh, and also, it does not make sense because this lash applicator is made off of metal and the magnets on the lash is literally going to stick to this. So... I don't know, they should have made this off of plastic and not metal, which doesn't make sense. Now for the instructions, it says that to shake the magnetic eyeliner bottle well, use the finishing powder before magnetic eyeliner and keep the skin dry. Now my eyelids are dry. I have some eyeshadow on, but it's not wet or anything of that sort. But I do want to test these out with my eyeshadow on because I'm sure without an eyeshadow, it will perform well, I guess. But I want to see how it performs with something underneath like eyeshadow and uh, the second step is to apply eyeliner two or three times and make it thicker at both ends wait for one minute until the eyeliner dries out that seems simple and the last thing is find correct position firstly start from inner corner allow the lashes to adhere to the magnetic liner then gently to the middle and the okay okay good i got it now i don't have much patience to read all of this <laughs> Okay, you guys are pretty zoomed in. Now thick eyeliner, I don't mind. Uh, I usually do wear like medium to, not very thick, but kind of medium with eyeliner, that makes sense. And uh, yeah, I'm just shaking this up. So obviously it's a brush tip applicator and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. Just one more dip. Okay, this looks good enough. One more coat. Okay. 
okay this is good enough thick enough and uh, yeah alexa keep a timer for 1 minute 1 minute starting now thank you it is 1 minute right now and it is a glossy finish or is it not dried yet let me give one more minute okay so the timer just went off which is awesome now this when i peeled this okay let me show you guys this one so on the packaging itself it actually has a metallic strip to hold it which is pretty cool in my opinion like that is it so yeah it's off now for this particular style as you guys can see this portion is much more shorter than this portion so this is in the front and so this is in the inner corner this is in the outer corner so it will go right here now i feel this one is quite lengthy for my eyelids usually itself i always trim my eyelashes because they are pretty lengthy but let me try these out on its own and if i require then i'll probably trim them out for the million dollar question that is it literally which is so awesome okay i do have to apply some mascara but i just want to test it out i'm so excited but this is pretty cool like it's not coming off do you guys see it like it's stuck eh. oh no uh, but look at the mark what the hell so yeah that is one downside right there it actually pulls the whole thing off you guys see this like if i have to rearrange it it is kind of gone so i would actually have to reapply the lash glue again which is actually similar to the normal lash glues but i did not expect it i thought it would not stick to it so i'm just reapplying the eyeliner and yeah it doesn't feel too thick or clumpy thank god yeah i'm just going to add some mascara so i have added the mascara and i have changed my mind a little bit so i'm going to go with this style right here in the middle which is like a very fluffy wispy one uh but it doesn't look intimidating uh let me see i'm going to try with this side first because that is it it is attached so i don't think i need to trim them it seems to be perfectly fine yeah that is it beautiful so the time right now is 2:03 pm and uh, yeah i am going to do the first test right now which is the blow dry test and uh, see if it is going to fly off or not i'm going to be using is the dyson and uh, this is quite powerful as you guys know and uh, let's see if it actually flies away so this is the setting it's all in full blast but i'm just going to put the cold air because i'm not going to put in hot air on my face so It lasted uh, not bad. <laughs> is it still there? Oh shit, yes it is. Not bad you guys. It did not even move. Wait, let me get my mirror first. Now this when I put the air, you know what it reminded me of? It reminded me of that meme that funny video of this female going through i think it a yacht or some boat like a motor boat and her eyelashes like flying and flying that's how it reminded me so i'm going to go through my day right now so far so good and uh, i'll be back for the final check in hey guys so i'm back right now and the time is 8:59 pm so it has been close to 7 hours since i last applied but then a couple of hours back i did remove it just to see if this patchiness okay let me zoom you guys in Okay so firstly do not mind the missing foundation on my breakout I'm not going to reapply it because right after this video I'm going to go wash my face so yeah as you guys can see I removed it just to see if the eyeliner is still coming off and it does and uh, yeah this is how it looks after removing it like a couple of hours back i'm just going to reapply again the eyeliner let it dry and i'm just going to try two other lashes and just to see how it looks So 
So just to test out right now, I'm going to use this thick one right here and these lengthy ones right here. Uh, one on each eye, that is. That is it. And yeah, it is stuck right now. Yeah, this is better. See, this is what I like, the convenience of adding so many. Actually, right now I did not reapply the liner, but it's still stuck. Not bad. So let's talk about the pros and the cons for these magnetic lashes. The first pro is that it works. So it does what it claims. The second pro is that it is really easy, quick, and it is beginner friendly. So if you have not even tried lashes before, this is a great product to actually try out. Now the third pro is that it does not fly off. Now I had low expectations on this particular point. Like I had a feeling that it will work, but when it comes to, you know, like the air blowing from the Dyson, I really thought it will actually blow away, but it did not, which is surprisingly amazing. <laughs> so the fourth pro is that this is vegan and cruelty free as well. So when I bought it, I had no idea about it, but then when I received it, I was pleasantly surprised. So that is a good option. The next pro, it is easily available on Amazon. Now, I tried searching for this brand on Flipkart and Nykaa. At that time, it was not available. And even if you do not buy this exact particular style, there are other options available for you to choose from. And for the last pro is that this is budget friendly. Now, hear me out. I know it is 729 rupees, but then you do get five lashes, two magnetic eyeliners, as well as a lash applicator. So this is like a whole kit that you get for 729. Wherein the other brands out in the market, you get like single pair of lashes for like 300 or 400 rupees, a good quality one. That's like the bare minimum I'm talking about. And this is perfect for the price point. Now coming to the cons, bear in mind, I have not tested any other magnetic lashes to compare it with, but in my opinion, this is like a con for me. So the first con is that it does take longer to dry down. Now, uh, it does instruct for one minute for it to dry down, but then I would suggest about one and a half to two minutes for it to properly dry down. So for the second con, when you remove the lashes, the eyeliner also comes off along with it, wherever the magnets were, and it looks kind of patchy. Now, I have seen these with the normal lash glue. Now, in my imagination, I did not expect that. I thought you just remove it, the eyeliner is still on, you know? So that's how I thought it would be, but it's not the case. So I will put that as a second con. And for the last con is that there are no instructions on how to clean that magnets on the lashes because like I said earlier that the eyeliner comes off so it kind of gets deposited on the magnets. Now there is no clear instruction as to how to clean that chunk of eyeliner off that magnet bits. So I hope that makes sense. So that according to me is the last and the third con. Now I have a few points like an FYI because it's not a con for me personally, but it could be a con for you, but I just want to cover all my points. Now the first point that I want to highlight is that the eyeliner is kind of sticky. So it does not affect the eye. It doesn't affect, it doesn't feel heavy or anything of that sort. Even when you're reapplying it, it doesn't feel very heavy. Like you can see a bit of texture, but I feel it covers up with the lash band, but it is kind of sticky. So just FYI on that. The second point is that you have to apply a thick liner. Now for me personally, I do not have any issues. I usually normally apply my liners in the exact same kind of a very thick kind of a liner. It's not too thick, it's not too thin, but I know some people prefer applying like a very thin liner. So that you cannot do with this. I would highly suggest to try out only with a thick liner. So that will be like a second FII. The last point is that this has a glossy finish. Now, generally I do prefer like a matte finish, but then a glossy finish is not a deal breaker for me. It is kind of okay, provided it is bold. So this liner, it's clearly visible. It is very bold. So for me, this is not like a con, but just again, for your information.
So yeah, these were my thoughts on the Kalilis Magnetic Lashes and overall I do highly recommend these. So even if you just want to try it out for fun or if you're a beginner, this is a great option of magnetic lashes. So yeah guys, this wraps up today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so you whenever I upload. As well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests. I will try my best to do that for you. As well as follow me on my socials which is it's Shanayar on Instagram and it's Shanayar on Twitter as well. So until the next time, take care. Bye.